Hello, everyone. It's Amanda Radke with the Radke Report, a place where we highlight agricultural news while we fight for faith, family, freedom, farming, and the future of food. Today, I want to highlight a few brief headlines that I think you should know about. In the news today, Walmart has just announced that it is investing in the Nebraska-based processing plant, a Sustainable Beef LLC. This is a proposed $325 million facility and Walmart wants to be a player. They claim that they want to invest in this processing plant to make America's beef taste better. We will see how that plays out in the weeks to come. Also in the news, uh, there's a 21-day extension of the suspension of any beef from South Africa due to another outbreak of foot and mouth disease. Additionally, it should be noted that you need to mark your calendars for October 18th. The FDA has opened up a listening session where they're going to be having a virtual discussion on the agency's regulation of animal foods with certain types of claims, such as environmental benefits, production claims on things like feed efficiency and growth promotion, and claims about the effects on the animal microbiome. So that virtual listening session will take place on October 18th and will offer all stakeholders in the industry an opportunity to share the information with the FDA about the regulation of animal foods with certain types of claims. That will be a good one to listen in on. Um, in other news, it is uh, it gives me maybe great pleasure to announce that McDonald's joins a long list of fast food chains who have just not been able to make fake meats stick with their customer base. Uh, McDonald's joins other restaurants, including Burger King, White Castle, Carl's Jr., and KFC, who have all offered imitation lookalike fake meat patties on their menus and that have all been a huge flop. Uh, recently, Cracker Barrel had joined the list of restaurants trying to appeal to their meatless customers and uh, it by adding impossible burgers to their menu. And that was met with a huge outrage from their customer base. One individual wrote, you just lost the customer base. Congratulations on being woke and going broke. Another one wrote, I only eat vegetables I can recognize. So interesting to see that despite the fact that these elite politicians and celebrity endorsements and major dollars coming out of Silicon Valley, that the general public simply wants to eat meat that they can recognize that comes from uh, cattle and hogs. And, and so we're going to keep meat, dairy, and eggs on the dinner table, despite a concentrated effort to strip those foods off of the menu and replace it with lab slime uh, that looks like a burger, but tastes and is nothing like a nutritional packed beef patty. In other news, I would like to invite you to the South Dakota State Fair on Friday, this Friday, September 2nd. The big state fair is taking place in Huron, South Dakota, and Friday is the day to be at the fair. I invite you to wear a red shirt in order to remember everyone deployed and uh, meet me. Well, let's see if you'll be meeting me because I'm kind of torn in a few different places this week, but meet everyone at the fair wearing red at 1.45 p.m. at the Northwestern Energy Freedom Stage. There they will be taking pictures of families wearing those red t-shirts and they'll be sending those photos as thank yous to our military men and women as a way to show them our appreciation for their service to this country and for keeping us free. Now, the reason I'm polled in multiple directions tomorrow, September 2nd, is because I also need to be in pier at 1 p.m., in the people's house in room 414 that is the place where every south dakota citizen who cares about transparency in government and freedom and and a transparency in elections and election integrity and ensuring that your vote counts and isn't uh isn't manipulated come voting time you need to be at this this event at 1 PM. Uh, there is going to be an open to the public meeting talking about the last election, the primary, and some issues that uh, engaged citizens have found in the process of trying to audit our elections and trying to ensure that every vote counts and there's no manipulation, considering that there is um, 
some issues in the state and there seems to be a lot of closed doors and getting that information out to the general public, I invite you to this open meeting at 1 p.m., room 414 in the People's House. Uh, there's going to be an open discussion there. Also, wear red that day as a way to thank the troops and to let these officials know that you have them on notice. I think every state in the nation needs to be doing this. This is not a partisan issue. If you believe in, believe in a free democracy and you believe in this federal republic that we call home, election integrity is the most important issue that we need to have up front to the general public to ensure that there is confidence in our elections. And I want to thank the very dedicated and engaged citizens who are part of these efforts. We're going to have more information on that with Trent Luce on Roll Route Radio. I will post that link later today. Uh, but with that, my five minutes are up. I'm Amanda Radke with this special edition of the Radke Report. You can follow along. I'll be posting all of my Radke reports on my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know what you think about this video. And uh, share it if you could to help spread the word. I'm Amanda Radke, and I'll continue to fight for faith, family, freedom, farming, and the future of food. Take care.